Good morning. Good morning, sir. Um, please, can you tell me your name? How old are you? I'm 21, yes. 21? Okay. Can you describe to me what happened? Um, how you got to know about Dubai? How you traveled to Dubai? What happened to you when you got to Dubai? And how you were able to come back to Nigeria? Okay, there was one lady. When I was in a see my friend. Okay. So the lady, no, my friend knew the lady. So the lady said that she's in Dubai, that she's working for one Uibo man, that she's doing cleaning, that she wants to travel to Italy, that she needs someone to replace her, that she will be working for the man. Okay, she said, is it your friend that was in Dubai? No, I don't okay. know the woman. Before. Okay, it's your friend that yeah, you came to meet. Yes. Yeah. That said there's a lady in Dubai, Nigerian lady. Yes. That yes. is going to Italy. Is the lady that told my friend. That she is going to Italy. Yes. And that she's looking for someone to replace her. Yes, yes. So that's why she was asking for you guys uh, for someone to come. Okay. Yes. So I fled I take her Rwanda. I fled leave here by three in the afternoon. When you got to Dubai? Yes. Okay. I drive there, I drive in Rwanda first. So we mm. now live there by 12 o'clock, we now drive in Dubai by 8 a.m. in the morning, 8 a.m. So she sent someone to come and pick me. One guy came and picked me. There. What's the guy's name? Nigerian guy? Yes. From where? I don't know where the man Okay, came. you didn't know. So the man came and picked me. The man came and picked me. When the man came and picked me, when I was at drive, the man called her that time there. He asked the man, how did I look that? How did I look like? How I you know sometimes pictures do deceive person. And the man said, I'm young, I'm too, I'm even so, I'm small, you mm -hmm. know. He said, okay, that is coming to pick me. So when he came, the first place she took me to was Alubasha. When she took me to Alubasha, I saw one girl. The girl was happy that, uh, she said, the girl, this is your second. The girl was happy. I asked her, uh, my, uh, ma, is this the Uyibo place that you said I should come and walk? Okay. He said I should shut up my mouth. Mm, which Uyibo? I should just say something like that. I said, okay. So she gave me rice and stew. Okay. She gave me rice and stew. When I had the rice, in the evening, she told me I should rest for, I should rest and prepare myself for two months. I said, rest for what? She just said I should rest. So I saw when she calls her, she, that, um, she and the other kid that yeah. was staying with her. When she calls her, she will pick Pakistan. He will pick them, will tell me this one is Pakistan. This one is Egyptian. This one is this, this one is that. He will pick them and come. They will pay them when they came, the man will keep the money and they will stay with the man. I was like, ah, madam, is it what you said that I should come and do? No, you said I'm not going to work for Uyibo man. Okay, that time you never, you had, you never started. No, okay. they did. They, 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 they were just showing, they, yeah, they were showing you what they yes. do, yeah. So she said I should show up if I talk again, she will slam me. I was like, so my kid, because I get hungry, it's like I was hungry, like yeah. talking to her, anyhow, that I don't like it. You should call the person that gave me to her that I want to come back to Nigeria. She sees my phone. Okay. And your passport? Yes. Immediately, when immediately I traveled, when I, I drive to her house, she collected the passport, passport from my okay. hand. No, she gave the phone for me. But when I'm trying to talk to her, now, she collected the phone okay. from my hand. So the next day, she told me that I'm going to start. She go and she go to um, where soon. That is that one big supermarket in Dubai. She go to where soon and buy me um, um, this. Is it condom or what? I don't know what to say. Yeah, sorry. Huh? Are you okay? I'm fine. So when she went and got me the thing, she now said I should start working. I should work. I will work from like that Alubasha to another place maybe if i walk i will walk to like i will go up by six o'clock in the evening mm. i will i will come back by eight o'clock in the morning wow there's i'll be strolling around to look for someone if i see pakistan they don't know how to speak english properly then if i see them i will ask them hi how are you and you say like you nigeria lady like if you tell them you are nigeria they refused to take me because Nigeria, they said no, Nigeria is somehow dangerous. So the woman asked me, they asked me where I'm from. I should tell them Uganda or Ghana. So I will take them if I carry like one dough in the house. If you carry one, they will give you 30 drum. In 30 drum was then it was it 5,000 in Nigeria currency. They will give you 50 drum. They will give you 100. It depends on people you carry. Mm -hmm. So I carry the next day. Okay, they do this thing. What this thing that Muslims normally do? I don't know. Ramadan. Yes, that was the period I went there. That was on April. 
is their period of doing that thing. So she said there is no business though. Everybody is concentrating in their Muslim stuff. So she asked me to go to Pete. Hmm. Pete is just like when Pete again. Then trailer. That place is only trailer. Then they will just um, cover wrapper, cover here, and put some more tiny bed on the under of the car. On that then, trailer. Yes. You'll be sleeping there and you wear pants and something that your body will open. You're kidding. So you will stay there with them. You will carry one person 20 drum. One person, if you carry the person 20 drum, you will pay the man that half there 5 drum. Then you will take 15 drum. Anybody you carry, you pay the man 5 drum, you will take 15 drum. Like if you work, like how many people can you cater just to get like 50,000 naira in Nigeria currency? Yeah, for your madam. Mm -hmm. So when we just stay there around... How many, in that pit, how many people were sleeping with you in the pit? And you can't count the people. Uh, in a know. day? Yes, you cannot count them. Really? Yes. You're telling me you sleep with more than 10, 15 people that night? You need money to pay your madam. If not, you will hear what she's going to do for you. If not, you don't find the money like that. You can't even sleep well. No sleeping, no food. We are the one that pay your house rent. You are the one that feed yourself. Everything there. And if you talk to her anyhow, she will send you to Curtis boys. They will beat you. They will ask you. All this map, I did not have it. Yeah, it's there. Are you serious? This is all from beating? It's from beating from all those Curtis boys that will keep the magic. The boy will be beating person. The man you are paying in that place, is it, is it Nigerian man or I'm not paying a man, it's a lady. lady. Yes. It, no, it's in a the Nigeria pit. lady. They are the pit. The pit. Yeah. Yes, it's all these Nigeria boys then. They will naked you, they will beat you, all your body, they will stab you. They say, you don't want to respect your madam. You don't stab. want to work for you. Yes. With a knife. They, yes. They will beat you. Oh, the, this one, they knock me like from this kind of thing. That is where they knock me and open me. That's where I got the knock from. As in that place is just full of suffering. So I was tired, eh? though I swear hot when I go that I will never run till I pay the money, till I serve the Oyibo man because the time I'm going to clean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That I will not take the Oyibo money, I will not do anything stupid there. And that's what they made you swear. Yes. That is so what you mean. were, you totally believe that you are going yes. to do a proper, yes. uh, proper job. Yes. How did this make you feel? It made me feel bad. It made me feel pain. Though when I went there to, so when one of my friends came back, when one of my friends came back, so she did not die because they said if you swear and you do, if you yeah. don't, you will die. So when she came back, she did not die. She posted. Oh, she posted that. Yes, that she's in Nigeria. She was very okay. happy. I okay. said, how do you manage to go to Nigeria? She said that she's afraid of, she said I will not go and tell my madam, so that my madam will not uh, send people to come and get her in Nigeria. Yeah. I said, please, you tell me. So she now tell me that she went to a deportation camp. Okay. Yes. So, oh, so the same thing happened to her as yes, well. Yes, yes. A lot of people there, they are not going there for fun. It's just their life. They will lie in Nigeria. You are going to do work two months. You will become big madam. You will have your own money to take care of your family. But when you go there, they will just frustrate your life. Early in the morning, we will not, we will not stay together. Early in the morning. She was about, she have like four kills. Because when I said like two people mm -hmm. came. So I, I do a plan with the girls. The girls suffer like three years. If someone has served three years, that time they were in Dubai, mm. they were money as in people have money in Dubai by then. That girl suffered three complete three years. Even till now, she never gave the girl passport and the cell. The girl she's still in Dubai, but she's now a madam on her own. Wow. So I told her I do the plan that I want to come back to Nigeria. Okay. So early in the morning, around six o'clock, I woke up. When I woke up, I go to that deportation camp, they get everything. I did not come with, I did not come back with clothes, I did not come back with anything. It's only the clothes that I wore in the morning is what I went to the deportation camp. When I went to the deportation camp, you will be very hungry. Don't worry there to serve you. Maybe we will, they will bring parata. That is that thing that they used to do shawarma in Nigeria. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. They will bring it for you, you will eat it, and if you cannot eat it, you will stay hungry. hungry. So they now turn, we are now staying in that deportation camp. So they deport, they start deporting Uganda. They deport Ghana. So they not deport Nigeria. They now travel Nigeria to sell and sell in one in all of Basha. Why? That is what the people do because they would they would think maybe you are lying. What do you come to? Dubai? Okay, so they believe the Niger every Nigerian girl that comes to 
Dubai. Dubai. They believe that this this us this story is why they came. That yes. they don't believe you were uh, tricked. Yes. Yes, oh. and they will say you don't have for you don't have passport. Do they do three months visa for me? Yes, and the yes. visa is part of checking system that I don't have visa. So they now travel us from different jail to different jail. From different How long jail. were you there in in de detention for? Well, I stay in Alubasha jail for one month. They now transfer us to another jail. I don't remember the name of the jail. I stayed there for two months. Oh, then wow. they now transfer us to the main deportation camp. Hmm. Which you yes. were there for how long? Yes, I stayed there for like um, was it two months plus? So I stayed there for like was it two months plus before they deport us? Before they deport us, it was fight. Nigeria guys fight with you, but they will bring their soldier. They were as in they were like war. Hmm. They said we want to come back to our country. We want to come back to our country. So that is how they deport us. So when you came back to Nigeria, um, your friend that uh, told you about this lady did you see her have yes, you seen I her yes i saw her i saw her she's the one i'm staying now because i don't have anybody to stay with okay so, you're staying with her yes i told her everything she said that this is on as an unbelievable that she don't believe that the woman would do such a thing that the woman did not tell her like that That's and she knows the woman does she know the woman? The woman person? is her friend, but since that I come back, the woman blocked her. The woman was even angry with that that she will kill her if I don't complete the money that um, I'm holding her. Wow. So, what? So, your family? Where are your family? My family, they, are, they don't have anything. Maybe me, I will be the one to be sending some money. Did you tell them to, anything? Okay. Did you tell them what happened to you? Even if I tell them, what would they do? They will not do anything. You seem very angry. I need to be angry because I spent as and I just spent one year there for nothing. And I was even frustrated. So sorry, yeah. Hmm? Okay. Um thank you for uh, giving us your story. I really uh, we really appreciate it.